Hello, my friends. Today is July 24. Our topic is not yet over. There are about 700 stories in the Bible. One of the fascinating stories are recorded in Jeremiah chapter 18. Let me read from verses 1 to 6. Please bear with me as I take you through the story. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise, go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and there he was making something at the wheel. And the vessel that he made of a clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again into another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to make. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter? Says the Lord, Look, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. My friends, the clay thought it is over. That's it. I am marred, broken. But the potter recreated and made the clay an expensive and precious vessel. You may think you have to die in this sickness. You may think you should have to struggle in this challenge. You may think you should have to live among these financial difficulties. But God says, hold on, it is not yet over. My time begins when you think your hope is ended. Just cast yourself to the Lord as it is marred. He will mold your life, redesign and refashion your life. If you think you are broken, that's the time you are qualified for recreation according to the master potter. Never say God has not seen you. Never say God has not heard you. Never say God doesn't care for you. Just remember he recreates you. You are going to be the masterpiece in the hands of the master creator. Let him build every aspects of your life. Let him chip out every sickness of your life. Let him remove every weaknesses of your life. My friends, are you crying today because of your life is utterly broken and shattered? Are you passing through difficult times that nobody seems to fix? Are you really finding yourself hopeless? Here is the prophecy from Psalms 145 verses 19 and 20. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him. He also will hear their cry and save them. The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. Let's pray. Dear Lord, you are our potter and we are the clay in your hands. Many times, dear Lord, our lives are marred. Please take us mold us and shape us and redesign us so that we will shine and we'll be precious vessel for your cause. In Jesus mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you.